You could tell a chainsaw when blindfolded just by hearing it sound, right? Well, think again. In Australia, that sound could be coming from a lyre bird, known for its incredible skill at mimicry. From car engine sounds and dog barks to camera shutters, loud alarms, and even crying babies, this bird can imitate literally any natural and mechanical sound. And this fascinating performance does not last just for a few seconds, but up to a whole 20 minutes. Welcome to Wild Biosphere, where we explore the wildest species on the planet. In this video, we will talk about Australia's musical wonder, the Lyrie Bird. Like, subscribe, and get ready to learn everything about one of nature's most shy and secretive song composers. To start us off, let's talk about the Lyrie Bird's appearance. So, Lyrie Birds are actually huge passerine birds. In fact, they're some of the largest, with some sources revealing that they are the largest of all the perching birds or songbirds. These birds are ground dwellers with strong legs, feet, and short, rounded wings. They're not excellent flyers and tend to only glide downhill. Now, there are two species of lyrebirds, the superb lyrebird and Albert's lyrebird. The superb lyrebird is the larger of the two, with males reaching up to 80 to 98 centimeters long, while females are slightly smaller at 74 to 84 centimeters long. This makes them the third largest passerine bird after the thick-billed raven and common raven. On the other hand, Albert's lyrebird is a bit smaller, with males reaching a maximum of 90 centimeters and females at 84 centimeters. Although Albert's lyrebird has smaller and less impressive lyrid feathers than the superb lyrebird, they still look pretty similar. In terms of weight, superb lyrebirds weigh around 0.97 kilograms, while Albert's lyrebirds weigh a bit less at 0.93 kilograms. All said, the male lyrebird's tail is known for its striking beauty. Next up, let's talk about their distribution and habitat. So, did you know that the superb lyrebird is commonly found in the rainforests of Victoria, New South Wales, and southeast Queensland? It was also introduced to Tasmania back in the 19th century. You can spot them in various parks, including the Dandenong Ranges National Park, King Lake National Park, and Royal National Park. They can also be found in other parks along the east coast of Australia, and even in non-protected bushland. On the other hand, Albert's lyrebird has a more limited distribution and can only be found in a small area of the southern Queensland rainforest. Let me now draw your attention to their breeding. Lyrebirds are fascinating birds with unique breeding behaviors. Their long breeding cycle and long lifespan contribute to their slow reproductive rate and allow them to invest more energy into each offspring. Male lyrebirds are known for their elaborate courtship displays, which involve creating and maintaining display platforms and singing and dancing to attract potential mates. These displays typically occur during winter, when males are most active in defending their territories from other males. Female lyrebirds are responsible for building and hiding their nests in secluded areas to protect them from predators. They lay a single egg, incubate it for 50 days, and then foster the chick alone. The location and strength of the nest depend on the rainfall and predation during the nest building period. Fun fact, did you know that lyrebirds are polygynous? That's right. The male lyrebird mates and lives with multiple females, while the female lyrebird mates only with one male. But you'd have to ask a lyrebird if they're happy with this lopsided arrangement. Moving ahead, Let's talk about the current status of this unique species. Sadly, the superb lyrebird was almost extinct due to habitat clearing and hunting for its stunning tail feathers. Protection efforts have helped stabilize its population sizes, yet both the superb lyrebird 
and Albert's Lyrie Bird remain under threat from feral cats and foxes, vehicle collisions, as well as human urban development. You can learn a lot about the superb Lyrie Bird, as well as protecting their population, by joining a friends group in your local area. If you are fortunate enough to have the superb Lyrie Bird grace your backyard, you will be rewarded by their remarkable mimicry. Now, for making it thus far, here are some interesting Lyrie Bird facts just for you. A displaying male superb Lyrie Bird is on the back of Australia's 10 cent coin. The superb Lyrie Bird received its name from its tail feathers, which look similar to a lyre, an ancient Greek musical instrument. The bird's brilliant mimicry is primarily due to its syrinx, the most complex of any songbird. Lyre birds used to be called peacock wrens and Australian birds of paradise. Now, what do you think about the lyre bird? What really fascinates you about it? Let me know in the comments section. While at it, like the video and share it widely. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to get alerts for future videos. Thanks for watching.